Uh, the big story that we're tracking is uh, that the Narcotics Control Bureau has summoned actor Rhea Chakraborty again tomorrow for questioning. She will be questioned by the NCB for a third day. The second day of questioning is over is what we're given to understand. Those are live visuals that we're getting to you from outside the Narcotics Control Bureau where actor Rhea Chakraborty is likely uh, to leave in just a short while from now. The NCB, remember, has called Rhea again tomorrow. Uh, now, Arvind Gunasekar, my colleague who's been tracking the details of this story, is joining me uh, on the phone line. Arvind, you've been breaking down crucial information for us. It was day two today. She's been summoned for yet another day. Can you summarize for our viewers what you're learning from your sources? What happened, in, what happened today in the second day of questioning? Uh, Rishika, in fact, when the Narcotics Control Bureau, when they when they sought the custody of uh, Shovik Chakrabarty and also Samuel Miranda, who was again uh, for who's, who was the manager for the late actor, the Narcotics Control Bureau very clearly they had told the court saying that they have to uh, confront these two individuals with Riya Chakrabarty, and they said that this particular case has some links with the death of. Susan Singh Rajput, the Bollywood actor. So after that, the Narcotics Control Bureau yesterday, they had issued, they had called, they, they went to the residence of uh, Riya Chakrabarty on Sunday morning around around 8 o'clock and then they gave her summons. They asked her to appear before the agency and she came somewhere around 12 o'clock. She joined the probe yesterday noon around 12. So from 12 till around 7 o'clock, she was questioned and then and then agency said that she was not confronted with any other individual because, it, because for a paucity of time, it, she was there in the questioning for hardly six hours and then they had to uh, Kosina based on the statement that they had recorded from all other accused. And today what our right. are saying is that she joined the probe somewhere around 10 a.m. in the morning and the probe and the questioning went on till, till, till this hour. So they had uh, confronted her with two other accused. So that's eight hours, eight hours of questioning. Uh, uh, and in fact, the, the visual that we're getting on our screen, Arvind, the bear with me and stay on with us, is live outside uh, the Narcotics Control Bureau office. Uh, where I'm told that the actor has in fact just left. So that's her. That's the live image there that's coming in on our screens from Mumbai at the moment. Uh, my colleague Saurabh Gupta is at the Narcotics Control Bureau and is sending us those live pictures uh, where actor Riya Chakrabarti, after a second day of questioning, has in fact left the NCB office. She has been summoned again. She will uh, appear before the NCB uh, office tomorrow once again at 10 a.m. for questioning. And those, of course, are live images uh, that we just got from outside the NCB office. Uh, Arvind, I had to interrupt you earlier uh, in lieu of those live pictures. Uh, but, you know, you were saying very interestingly that she's been confronted by two accused today. And, of course, uh, a significant development expected tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Rajika. In fact, she was uh, confronted with two other individuals, and then she was. Her statement was again recorded by the Narcotics Control Bureau officials under the Act of NC, under the NDPS Act. And again, our sources have told, have confirmed to us that she has again been summoned by the agency tomorrow. She has to appear before the agency officials around 10 a.m. and the questioning will go on tomorrow. What is very important tomorrow? That what we are learning from our sources is that today agency sources are saying that she is not cooperating with the investigation. She has been evasive when, with some questions. And that's why the agency has to take some decision uh, in order to proceed ahead in this probe because they want to get to the bottom bottom of this case. So that's the line of information what we are getting from our sources that the agency has uh, come up with a point that she is not cooperating and then the agency has to make some, uh, make some uh, to make sure that they can get to the bottom of this case. Again, the agency agency sources are saying is that they want to somehow uh, somehow uh, somehow take away somehow uh, get to the bottom of this entire drug. Uh, Citadel in the Bollywood, and that's why they're gonna go to the bottom. They want they're gonna get to the bottom of this case. They will be making sure that this case uh, gets to the bottom and that complete all the drug citadel, all the drug so peddlers Arvind, who are I can operating. Just in interrupt the you there, and if we understand this correctly, what the NCB is looking for is not just a linkage to you know a drug trail that links to actor Sushant Singh Rajput's death. What they're trying to do is unearth the larger story as far as the nexus between drug peddlers and Bollywood is concerned. Yeah, yeah, Rishika, that's, that's very clear with the way uh, NCB is proceeding ahead in the probe. Because like I mentioned earlier, NCB has two cases in their hands. One, case number 14, that was registered based on the ED's communication. In, in that particular case, Riya Chakrabarty, her brother Shovik, Samuel Miranda are the named accused. But the agency has not proceeded in that particular case. Instead, they registered a second case based on the seizure of drugs 
in Mumbai. So that's pretty strong ground for the agency because in the first case, it was purely based on the retrieved WhatsApp messages and there was no seizure of drug anywhere. But in the second case, they have seized some drugs uh, amounting to 59 grams of marijuana and based on that, they have registered the case. So according to NCB, that's a strong case. So what they are saying is that all those people who have been arrested, the mainly those two individuals, Abbas Lakani and also Karan Arora, both of them, according to the NCB sources, they are the kingpin in the entire drug, uh, drug tree in uh, Mumbai. And that's right. why they have got to the bottom of the case in order to completely remove, completely under this particular drug, uh, king, the drug citadel in uh, Bollywood. All right. So the larger issue of uh, drugs in Bollywood, of course, is something that is within the purview of this investigation. It's very interesting because uh, like Arvind is breaking down the details for us, uh, what you're also learning, Arvind, which is what you've been telling us, is that she was evasive and non-cooperative. That's what your sources in the NCB are telling you. Yeah, that's learning from our sources saying that even in the second day of questioning that she was not cooperating with the investigation she she was evasive to some questions and that's why the agency is trying to again uh, somehow uh, get answers from her and then agency will be taking some decisions tomorrow in connection with this particular case usually whenever the agency any investigating agency comes up with a ground like this that the person is not cooperating and then they want to they are evasive they are not answering to the question then the agency usually take coercive action so we have to wait and watch what kind of action the ncb the narcotics control Bureau will take tomorrow. Again, this has been the this has been the tool of the agencies whenever any investigating agency is concerned. Right. But also on the defense and side, defense in several cases have made clear that whenever agency wants and wants an answer to their own question, wants an answer in their way, then they they are using all these um, measures. But again, we have to wait and watch what will happen tomorrow in this case. All right. Uh, we're also going to be joined uh, by Saurabh Gupta from uh, the NCB office. He's been covering the details of this story as well. Uh, but very interesting details that Arvind is breaking down for us. He's essentially detailing what's really happening with the investigation. Uh, the Narcotics Control Bureau questioning actor Riya Chakravarti uh, for a second day today. Remember, she was uh, questioned by the NCB for over eight hours. This is uh, as per the information that we've accessed. Uh, she reached the NCB office at 10 o'clock this morning and departed uh, at 6 o'clock just a few minutes ago. So eight hours of questioning. She's been summoned for yet another day, the third day of questioning tomorrow. And uh, we are learning from our sources that there could be a significant development in this particular case tomorrow. NCB sources so far telling my colleague Arvind Gunasekar that she has been evasive. She's been non-cooperative. She's been confronted by two accused. We're not sure right now whether she's been confronted by by her brother or not. The big question really is, were the drugs that were procured or allegedly procured by Riya Chakrabarti, were they for actor Sushant Singh Rajput?